We're here at the Charm Hotel in Washington, D.C., where the Faith and Freedom Coalition kicked off its Road to Majority Conference, the same day as the Pope's encyclical being released on climate change. The real message is that climate change is real and that it's caused by humans and that it's going to take all of us to act to reverse its effects. Now, if the Pope can criticize the use of fossil fuels, does that mean the chairman of ExxonMobil can weigh in on the Eucharist? <laughs> well, uh... Don't you think if the Pope really wants to affect the political debate on climate change, he should do what other wealthy people do and start a political action committee? You call it Pope Pack. Uh, I think it makes sense for the Pope to act as he's doing now. I think that... The strongest pull he has is with people of faith. Is the Pope going to pick out a candidate to fund? I don't think he's going to start that Pope pack, but that's why he released this encyclical. He's calling on not just all of the presidential candidates, but all of us to act on the issue of climate. Of course, one percenters feel free to ignore the Pope's statement since it conflicts with their short-term economic interests and their general desire to be left alone. I don't care what the Pope says. His opinion on climate change doesn't carry any weight with you? Absolutely not. I know that the climate change is that what's coming is that we're going to have a cold, cold season. That's what's coming. It's going to be cold. It's not going to be hot. What's Senator Cruz, part? are you what's going to follow part? the Pope's lead on climate change? What's the worst part? Is what if climate the change is the Pope? Ted Cruz there in a rush wasn't able to answer the question as to whether he would be able to ignore the moral arguments for confronting climate change as effectively as he's been ignoring the scientific ones. Renewable energy, particularly wind energy, is a lot less wasteful and creates a lot less havoc upon uh, the earth than the fossil fuels do. But wind is really hard to own. It's not always about owning everything. With all these presidential candidates, don't you think there's one word missing from the title? Should maybe it should be faith, freedom, and cash? No. I think that the, we need to focus in this nation on faith and on the scripture. Are you aware of the Pope's encyclical that was issued yesterday about climate change? I heard about it. Uh, but the uh, I have no expertise in climate except I appreciate that it rains on a regular basis. And I like the snow in the wintertime. Now, part of the argument, as I understand, the Pope was this obligation to be a good steward of the earth. But I think in fairness, when that covenant was made, we didn't know how much oil and gas there was in North Dakota. 